Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome back to another Steam Deck video, although this one is purely a discussion one. So I've had the news, or you may have heard it, you may not have heard it, from Valve today that they are finally releasing uh, Windows drivers for the Steam Deck. So what I'll do is I'll read out the um, press release, I guess, is available to everybody on uh, on Steam if you want to go check it out. But I figure it's a good time as any to discuss this topic because I think it appears to be a bit of a um, divisive subject with the Steam Deck, I've noticed. And as someone that sort of slots in between the two, um, it would be good to get uh, other people's takes on it. So it starts with, uh, hello, we, oh, sorry, have we mentioned Steam Deck as a PC? Like any other PC, you can install applications and OSs if you'd like. For those interested in inst installing Windows, you'll need a, a few additional drivers to have the best experience. Links to these, along with notes for installing Windows on the Steam Deck, can be found in here, in the notes here. So I've not clicked on that, but I imagine that's just like a, a driver package for either once you've installed Windows. I don't know if it's a... Actually, I'm going to click on it now. If it is a... Oh, okay, no. They are um, separate ones. It's not a Windows installation um, ISO or anything like that. That would be quite interesting if if that had happened. Um, a few quick notes about these resources. For now, you can only perform a full Windows installation. Uh, while Steam Deck is fully capable of being dual booted, the Steam OS installer that provides dual boot wizard isn't ready yet. It's a bit of a shame again to that. Uh, also, for now, you can only install Windows 10. Not a bad thing. Windows 11 requires a new BIOS that is currently in the pipeline um, for the... Um, uh, trusted uh, pl trusted um, platform module support and will be shipping soon. Not really too fussed about that one, but anyway. Uh, drivers are provided for the GPU, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. Audio drivers are still in the works with AMD and other parties, uh, but you'll still be able to use Bluetooth or USB-C audio with Windows on the deck. Lastly, we are providing these resources as is and are unfortunately unable to offer Windows on deck support. If you get stuck and need a way back to the default SteamOS, please follow these recovery instructions. I've had a look at that. It's a basically like um, a download and then advising to use Rufus to plug into a USB stick and then plug that into your Steam Deck. And then just how to get into the recovery section and then it would just obviously reinstall Steam to its normal parameters, which is pretty good. Um, and that's it for today. Thanks. Is how they've ended it. So I'm actually pretty... Personally, pretty excited about it. I don't know. I've had a think <laughs> since I've read this before between then and doing the video, doing this video now. And I'm not certain I want would want to have the Steam Deck with Windows. I actually am a real big fan of what they've done so far with the Steam OS um, and with the desktop experience in there. Not that I've had a huge amount of time to play around with it, but if we see it as like purely a gaming, I see it as purely a gaming device, being but then being able to do this other stuff. Um, having Windows on there... Does that make it feel too much like the other computers that I've got? You know, like my main computer, like my uh, desktop computer or like my laptop? I think as though it, it does. Um, obviously, you've got increased, potential increased overhead from Windows. I'm not sure. One thing I'd really like to see is performance numbers between the two. And that's unfortunately not something that I would be willing to do, particularly not without a dual boot. I think when there is a dual boot option, I will be... Yeah, def def something I'll definitely be setting up because I quite like the idea to switch back and forth. But I do feel as though um, Steam OS is sort of where Steam Deck feels best to me personally. And I know a lot of people were sort of thinking about buying the Steam Deck as maybe a Ionia replacement or what's it one X player and um, yeah, I can't remember what the, the smaller one's called the GP Win, whatever it's yeah that one. Um, which, I mean, I, it could be, if that's something you wanted to buy it for, then that's great. And I think I really like the fact that Steam are following through on their, or sorry, Valve are following through on their promises, because it would have been very easy for them to say, yeah, you can do what you want, you can do, you can install Windows on it, not a problem, and then never work towards getting the drivers ready, because the Windows platform means that you may not necessarily use Steam on your deck. You may use uh, the Epic Games, well, you can use whatever you want, obviously, uh, because it's all normal. PC equivalent architecture. So, yeah, I don't know where it's. I mean, for me, obviously, it's got to be personal preference. It's got to be one of those things. If that's what you want it for, then great. I would really like to experience the Windows interface on the deck, personally. 
which like I say is why I would favor a dual boot. I would definitely want as many of the drivers to be in place as possible. I don't think it's something that I would do ahead of other people. I'd have to see other reviewers, techie tubers, um, actually have a play around with it and get stuff working first before I'd be willing to jump in. But, you know, I do really want to have a work, have a go with emulators. Now, I know there's a lot of that stuff for Linux as well, but for me personally, I'm far, far more familiar with doing stuff on, on Windows than I am on Linux. So it's much more of a platform that I understand, I guess, that I'm, I'm comfortable with. So, yeah, I guess the question back to everyone is, will you be... If you're getting one, will you be installing Windows on it? Is that something maybe you'll do straight away? Because, you know, you well, you're going to have to have, set, have separate SD cards, I'd imagine, for games on the Linux, or games on the SteamOS, and then games on uh, Windows because different systems, right? I think could be wrong on that one, but that's yeah, that's at least how I think it would work. And then obviously, um, is Windows going to work on an external monitor? Drivers for that? Would, I don't know if that's covered under GPU drivers. Um, they've only specifically mentioned USB-C audio, but then there aren't any audio drivers. Yeah, so I don't know. It'd be, for me, it's not a viable option at the minute. Um, but yeah, I am glad to see it happen. So as I mentioned, let me know what you guys think. Like I say, my preference is to stay on SteamOS and do a dual boot. Um, I do have one last <laughs> thing to say. Um, shout out to all hands on Steam Deck for being bloody notorious in the comments. <laughs> and further to that, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been watching the videos, the likes and the, and the comments and everything else. You know, I do realize that I was quite fortunate to get a first batch of the Steam Deck. I didn't think I would necessarily have been early enough. I know within eight minutes not being early enough. Um, but I've been really enjoying messing around with it and doing the stuff I have done so far, especially like the unsupported games side of it. I think um, it's good to showcase the fact that the Steam Deck is fully capable of playing, you know, more like up to 90% of the of the Steam library, it feels like. Um, but yeah, and maybe some with, with workarounds, but I don't think that's necessarily an issue. If you're buying this, you are buying a PC and that does come with... Um, an amount of troubleshooting required, unfortunately. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. But yeah, good news. Good news from Valve. Good guy, Valve, sorting that out. Hopefully, we'll see some more more work on that over the coming weeks. And as soon as that dual boot option's ready, I will be definitely dipping my toe in. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye for now.